In this video, we're going to show how to prepare a cylinder for use in a strength test. The main strength test result needed is the one obtained from a cylinder that has been cured for 28 days. However, many labs make duplicate cylinders at the same time so that they can also do a strength test at 7 days or duplicate tests at 28 days. There are many ways to prepare a test cylinder and there are specific details to be aware of for each. In this video, we will prepare test cylinders in the lab and they will harden vertically. See the standard for details on other preparation methods. The equipment you'll need, a mould release agent and a brush, a dry cloth, a scoop, a soft nosed hammer, gloves, a trowel, a tamping rod to the dimension shown with a round hemispherical tip. You will also need test cylinder moulds of the correct dimensions. Most cylinders are 100mm in diameter and 200mm in length. It is important that the diameter of the cylinder is at least four times bigger than the maximum aggregate size and should never be less than 100 millimeters. There are several other important characteristics of the mold that must be taken into account. These are discussed in detail in section 3.3 of the standard. You'll also need cylinder top plates. Apply a thin coating of the release agent to the molds. The mould is filled in thirds, with each third rotted at least 25 times. Take care to not strike the bottom of the plate when rotting the first layer, and for the second and third layers the tamping rod should just penetrate the previous layer. Vibration can be used instead of rotting and further details can be found in the standard. After each tamping session, tap the sides of the mould with a soft nosed hammer to close any voids. To ensure that the rod doesn't penetrate too deeply into the previous layer, a lot of people hold the tamping rod at the correct position, as shown. Regardless of the chosen compaction method, consolidation of the third layer should leave the mould overfill. Strike off the surplus concrete with a trowel to produce a flat, even surface that is level with the edge of the mould and has no depressions or projections larger than 1mm. Remove all excess material and place a top plate on the mould within one hour to minimise water loss from the surface by evaporation. Put the cylinders to one side for at least 16 hours, but no more than 50 hours. Remove the cylinder from the mould. Mark the cylinder for later reference, and transfer the cylinder to a moist environment held at a temperature between 19 and 23 degrees Celsius. This is often referred to as a temperature of 21 degrees, plus or minus 2. Detailed written instructions for preparing test cylinders can be found in the standard. Seacans would like to thank the crew of Firth Whangarei for their time and the use of their facilities.